guys, in this video I want to talk about a really cool lens that I've been shooting with uh, over the last couple of weeks uh, and it's uh, an anamorphic lens on a budget, if there is such a thing. Uh, if you ever wanted to get into an anamorphic kind of video shooting uh, but you didn't want to, you know, hurt your wallet, uh, then you've probably already heard of this company. This is Sirui. They've previously released uh, a really good lens, which is this one. It was a 50mm f1.8 and it was the first ever on the market affordable true anamorphic lens, meaning there's no adapters, no, no filters or things like that. It's an actual anamorphic lens with a 1.33 squeeze aspect ratio. Well, now they followed up uh, their successful lens with this baby. This is the 35 millimeter, also f 1.8. And if you're wondering how does it compare to the, the 50 millimeter, the previous version, uh, it is just as good, if maybe not even better. <laughs> what I mean by that is that you're gonna get uh, the real anamorphic sort of characteristics uh, with this lens, just as you would uh, with the other lens from Siri. Uh, so you're getting the nice uh, wide aspect ratio if you're shooting on a 16 by 9 camera, which most cameras these days shoot in that aspect ratio. Uh, then you're going to get that cinema scope aspect uh, ratio once you de-squeeze it to 1.33. Uh, but you're also going to get uh, this kind of nice subtle uh, oval bokeh and uh, a really really nice, I think, really nice uh, anamorphic flares. I would say maybe even slightly better than the 50 millimeter version even though this was already really good. Uh, what I mean by that is that the flares are there if you really point it at, you know, like a really strong light source, uh, but they're a little bit um, kind of, I would say, more organic looking. And especially when you have the lens, uh, you know, off to the side a little bit from the main light source, and it just have the kind of the, the light kind of hitting the, the front of the lens at an angle, you're gonna get these nice little glows and uh, these kind of blooming effects uh, within this lens. So uh, personally, I think that looks really nice, looks very cinematic, very organic. Now, in order for Siri to go from a 50 millimeter focal length to 35, they obviously have to change the optics inside. Uh, now, you know, you might be wondering again, does that affect the, the build of the lens and, and things like that? Well, the quality and the build of it is just as good as the original lens. Uh, Sell the build, the, the focus and the aperture rings are nice and smooth, yet they feel solid. Uh, at the same time though, uh, you're still getting the nice compact uh, size that you got with the previous version. And now one thing maybe is that it is slightly, slightly bigger. This is the E-mount version of both of these that I have. 
Uh, so slight difference, maybe it's, uh, I would say maybe half an inch, maybe not even uh, longer. Uh, the front diameter is 67 uh, millimeters and it's the same uh, on both of these lenses. Now when it comes to the weight, this one, it is slightly, slightly uh, heavier than this, but again, it's very minimal. And again, if you're gonna compare this to any other standard anamorphic lens on the market, these lenses are tiny. So really, if you wanna get into anamorphics, you're not gonna find anything else out there that's this small and in this light. Actually, this whole video you're watching right now is also shot on the 35 millimeter uh, f1.8 anamorphic lens from Zero E, and that's because I have it mounted there uh, on my packet 4K camera. And that one, of course, is a micro four thirds uh, version. This one is an E mount version, but again, doesn't matter which version you pick, they're identical in the way that they're built. The only difference is on the back, uh, obviously, the mount. Now another cool update from Siri is that this time they're actually offering geared rings for both the focus and the aperture. So if you want to work with this lens, kind of more uh, like a cinema style lens, and let's say you have a follow focus uh, or a wireless follow focus system, uh, then you'll be able to use it with these lenses. So in short, the 35mm lens from Siri, just as their previous 50mm lens, I think are a great way to get into anamorphics if you're interested in that kind of stuff. This lens is nice and sharp, again, the same as the 50mm version, uh, which is something that's very hard to find on most anamorphic lenses. It creates a nice clean image, uh, even though at the same time it also gives you slightly more organic looking flares and also flares that I think are a little bit more subtle uh, than maybe the 50 millimeter version. Uh, overall, I've loved shooting with this lens. So if you're wondering if you should grab this one uh, and for example, maybe you already own the 50 millimeter version and you like it, well, you're gonna love this one. Now, if you haven't actually tried any of the lenses from Siri, then definitely give this one or the 50 millimeter version a try. Uh, and you will not be disappointed, especially, like I said, if you're looking for those more cinematic looking images. Anyways, my name is Tom Antos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.